side view. <laughs> That's all good, man. Yeah, you all good. You know what? Do the spirit, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rukakadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out here, out there. And um, you know, the brother and I, you know, linked up through the Spirit, and uh, you know, we're gonna prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, all right, which is uh, known in the scriptures as what ba uh, uh, Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon. Yeah. You know, this place is known as spiritually Sodom and Egypt, all right. You know. Which is uh, uh, really the kingdom of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right, and we we're here to tell you people that this kingdom is, is going to end, okay? And a uh, great judgment is coming. So for you Israelites, that consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And just a side note, we also have a lot of our people that actually look like the other nations due to the fact that our men have mixed and mingled, all right, the seed line with the heathen women, right? You know, so they're going to look like the other nations. Point being, though, is you Israelites better repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, as the scriptures say. All right. And as the brother and I were just talking um, before the camera, uh, you know, before we started, you know, the camera turned on. Right. We we're talking about all these judgments that are happening throughout the city of Chicago. OK. And it's getting worse and worse out here. All right. You no, know, people are losing their damn minds. Okay, shooting each other in in, in uh, uh the, these uh, um these high uh, what do you call these um these are uh, high rise these, apartment yeah, yep. complexes downtown. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, hey, people getting shot on the freeway. All right, the expressway. All right, then we, you know we talked about the migrant situation. You know that that's creating a, a lot of chaos throughout the uh, streets of Chicago. You see, America's falling, and it's evident. All right. But if you got anything, yeah, Jeremiah 28 and 8, it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, because all these things are on the horizon that the elites have planned to bring forth this great reset or NWO as they call it, all right? Because you have, as they say, a great war. Look at what you got going on, all right? You pretty much got America versus the BRICS nations. Nope. All right, because these countries over here that are, constitute the BRICS nations, all right, they're tired of America's BS. And so what they have done is that they have now gained a financial upper hand on America by circumventing the petrodollar. Now they don't even, according to their agreement, they are not allowed to use the petrodollar for oil. All right, they're using their own uh, currencies. They're using their own cryptocurrencies backed by their own resources, by physical resources, okay? And this deal that the BRICS nation has totally eliminates America out of the equation. So America is a, is a non-factor. And see it as America has lived and, and been a country that has dominated uh, militarily and financially for so many years, for them to be kicked off their pedestal 
it is a huge slap in the face. And you know they're not going to go down without a fight. Okay? And it's also said of evil. And as the brother mentioned earlier, uh, before the camera got on, we were talking about many of the great evils that are befalling not only the world, but particularly Babylon the snake. Okay? You have great judgments happening on a daily basis. We were talking about how they are going to use this migrant situation to uh, as a scapegoat, I should say. They're going to use it as a scapegoat to say, oh, well, you see, this is why people are suddenly becoming sick. Okay? And then when this incident happens, all right, all these so-called migrants who you think are migrants, all right, they're you. They're, they're most likely going to be UN troops on the low. They're going to be some type of military troops on the low. So when all hell starts breaking loose, when these people start getting sick, guess what? Now you got a, a, a military that's not the United States military ready to get, get into this action. All right. And this is going to cause massive chaos, mass hysteria. All right. And Bill enemy at the gates. He, he I won't say he predicted, but you know he speaks on a lot of things that just so non coincidentally happen all right and this guy said that there's not going to be a 2024 election there's going to be great civil unrest and there's going to be another lockdown yep. swing that sword brother i got you this is uh second Ezra chapter 5 verse 8. there shall be a confusion also in many places hey that's the brother uh, uh, uh said man you know, with all these things going on, it's creating a, a, a chaos, confusion. You know, no one knows what's going on. All right, everyone's scared. They're perplexed, as the scriptures talk about. All right, you know. And see, Esau is doing all these things on purpose so that he can justify his actions, so he can establish his new world order, so he can, you know, uh, 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 push forth. All right, martial law, lock down the entire. And see, here's the thing, man. I'll say this, right. the next lockdowns that are coming, it's not going to be like the last time where it was child's play, basically. You know how they had, like, you know, downtown, you know, you know, lockdown. Right. But you were still able to, tra you know, travel. You can still go yeah. to a restaurant here mm -hmm. and there, you know. No, the, the, the next lockdown, it's going to be, it's going to be a, 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 a real man, all right? All right, Esau's not going to be playing anymore. You people are going to have real curfews, not suggest, I'll say it like this, not suggested curfews, real curfews, and they're going to start off with, you know, giving fines out, all right, but then it's going to escalate to what? Imprisonment? Yep. Then eventually, when, when things get real nasty out here, it's going to be kill on sight. You you cross, uh, you know, this uh, line, you will be uh, put to death. If you're, uh, you know, out of your house at this time, you will be put to death. Yep. All right? As the old folks used to say, you're going to get a warning shot between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 that's yeah. just real talk, man. And as the uh, uh, brother mentioned, uh, on the topic of it not being exactly how they did it last time, all right, you have to remember, there is a purpose for everything being so damn expensive, yeah. all right? Because when they implement this next lockdown, they're also going to have financial constraints. Because when you're locked down, all right, that means you can't go to your job. Businesses, more businesses are going to start closing down. And so then what's going to happen? You're going to have more people that don't have money to do the things that they need to do. And guess what? That creates more civil unrest. Yep. All right. Because when people don't have the basic necessities in life, all right, they just totally lose it which is going to cause civil unrest. And then guess what? They can say, well, you know what? We got the solution for that. How about we introduce some universal basic income? Yep. That way we solve all this problem of folks not having any type of money whatsoever. So, things ahead, gonna, so I was going to say, and they're going to do it by uh, at first, right? They're going to more than likely say, look, we're going to direct deposit this, uh, uh, universal basic income to you all right you know uh, uh, digitally right okay 
But then what's going to start happening, what you've been seeing over the years, things have been getting hacked. My account has been getting hacked. Hey, what was the, uh, the new thing recently? The Cash App situation? Cash App. All right. Uh, the Zales. Yep, the Zales, yeah. all that yeah, stuff. All, all right. right. Hey, you had, you know, a t Target get hacked. Okay. You know, that was a few years ago, so on and so forth, right? So once once your, uh, your accounts get hacked, people are going to be in a frenzy, right? And then they're going to say, look, we have the solution. It's this small device here. You just have to get it implanted, all right, in your, you know, in your body. Okay, I'll put it like that. Yes. Okay, and that's where hey, the era of Karagma comes into place, man. All right, Revelation 13 and 16. You see? But um, let me let me finish this. Uh, can you get Revelation 13 and 16? Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Second Ezra 5 and 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be all sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. And that's what we see too, man. We see these women, all right, you know, giving birth, and they're raising up these little goddamn gremlins, man. All right, half these uh, carjackings in Chicago are done by these, uh, you know, these young adults. I'll say it like that because they're not really children. All right, between the ages of 13 and like 21, man. They have no care for themselves, no care for the people around them. All right? You know, it, it's a dog-eat-dog a -dog world to them. You see? Hey, and they're pushing the chaos, man. Esau loves this. Those elites, they love it, man. Yep. Because like I said, it gives them a reason and, 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 uh, and justification to shut shit down. I'm going to keep reading though. Our, and salt water shall be found in the sweet. And that represents the truth, okay? Hey, the mixing of, of, of lies with, with the, the truth, all right? The seat and truth mixed together, all right? See, because I'll say this. Esau gives you a little bit of truth out, you know, uh, in his articles, okay? He does, you know, uh, give you some truth. But then there's a lot of BS, you know, uh, in it. That's why brothers, when they, um, you know, send out articles, they may say, all right, a, a chew the meat, spit out the bones. All right? Because some of it's going to be true, some of it's going to be lies. You have to de decipher that properly. But see, I'll say this. If you don't have this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, or understanding, hey, the eye self, as the scriptures talk about, right? You won't be able to decipher things properly. Okay? That's why it's so key. To get this truth now. Hey, seek the Lord while he may be found. Because eventually, that's all you're going to have in this world. You know? And if you don't got the oil, hey, as they say, you're shit out of luck, man. Okay? Well, I'm going to keep reading. It says, all friends shall destroy one another. Hey, as you mentioned, as resources dwindle and it gets harder and harder out here, what's going to happen? Hey, best friends are going to become enemies. Brothers uh, are, are going to kill one another. Yeah. Hey, 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 the father against the son, the mother against the daughter, so on and so forth. And it's already happening, man. Hey, families are divided because of political uh, affiliations. Okay? Some believe in, in, in the left. You know, some believe in the right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and people can't even go to... Uh, <laughs> You know, a, a goddamn Thanksgiving dinner without having a brawl erupt. Right. You know? <laughs> some are for the juice, some ain't for the juice. <laughs> exactly. You know, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's going to be bad, like the brother said, man. You, you know, your good neighbor that you done known for about 20, 25 some years, your kids been going to the same school with each other for the past 13 years. Hey, man, all that shit is going to change when you don't have food, when you don't have water. All right, when they're threatening your job because you don't abide by certain mandates, all right, it's really going to get bad out here. Okay, keep swinging, brother. Yep, got a little bit more. It says, then shall wit hide itself and understand, understanding withdraw itself into its secret, into his secret chambers, and that's going into the truth. Eventually, at some point, it's not going to be out here freely. Like we're not going to be doing this when all hell's breaking loose. Okay, we have our oil. Hey, you should have got yours. Yep. Okay? You know? Because okay, we're doing the talking now. During that time, 
Well, what's there to talk about? We told you this was gonna come. We told you to get right, you know? But see, our people, you know, they, they, they don't wanna, um, they don't wanna take this serious because it's a, a business as usual, so right. to speak, all right? So they wanna go, uh, okay, celebrate Mexican Independence Day, you know, uh, you know, they wanna go, go, go to the, uh, the Lollapaloozas, the Riot Fest, okay? They, they, they want to go to the, you know, the Bears game. They want to go commit adultery. They want to go like, to the churches and commit idolatry. That's what they want to do right now. But eventually, that's all going to stop. Then you're going to try to, you know, find the Lord, but it's going to be too late. Okay, uh, let me see if I got anything else. Yeah, yeah, I got a little bit more. And shall be so... Sorry, I'm going to read that part again. Then shall, it, shall wit hide itself in understanding, withdraw itself into his secret chamber and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinences, if I'm saying that right, Salakia, yeah, be multiplied right. upon earth. One land also shall ask another, and say, is righteousness that make it a man righteous gone through thee? And it shall say, no. <laughs> At the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their way shall not prosper. Okay? And you see, that's what's coming. You, you people, all right, hope in vain things. It's not going to be successful, all right? It's going to fail. Look, America's done. Hey, this American dream is a goddamn nightmare. And that's just facts. Hey, people who are making $35 an hour are having a, a financial woes. At one point in America, if you were making $35 an hour, let's say 10 years ago, you were doing good. $35 an hour is a joke now. Okay? Hey, because uh, the average rent price, I'll say if you're for, the, for Chicago, right, for a one bedroom mark, is $1,300. Now, if you go to more of an uppity area, it's like $2,300, $2,400, like if you go to Lincoln Park. That's just one bedroom. Right. Hey, the average, uh, uh, you know, Average uh, uh, grocery you know, prices, right? You, 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 you just say you have a family of five, right? You're spending every time you go to the grocery store minimum two hundred dollars, and that's that, that's barely to get you by for like a couple of days, maybe a week at most, if you know how to, you know, uh, 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 you know, make it happen, so to speak. Right. Hey, but you try to get some some healthy stuff for you, you know, for yourself and your family. All right, try to get you know some good you know yogurts. All right, some some fruits, some nuts. You know, uh, get, get some uh, good quality meat. Shit, bro. which is the more expensive stuff. Yeah, because you, you can, well, I'll say this, even junk food is expensive. If you try to buy a bag of chips, that thing's $5. All right? Whatever you got, all right? Man, you done said a whole lot of stuff. That's, that's all like, good, that's man. That's all good, yeah. man. I had like, oh, I got that, I got that, but it's yeah. all good. But this will this will uh, kind of touch on a few things you said. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. And it says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Because that's what's gonna happen when people start lacking resources. And Esau can't have that, all right? <laughs> They're gonna come back to somebody else's resources, all right? And all you people who talk about, especially you, you Dumbass prepping niggas, all right? <laughs> all right, trying to be like your daddy, bad Uncle Esau, talking about you got all these guns and gats and you militarizing. Hey, man, you all are going to be the first people to get spoiled when all this shit break loose. Because you better believe with this, in the times that we're coming in, all these stories that you tell in casual conversation, these folks are going to remember it when they don't have nothing. They're going to be like, oh, you know what? I remember Thomas said he had uh he had like a bug out bag. Yep. We gonna come see him real quick. Mm -hmm. exactly. all right? You're gonna have all these people rebelling against their, their government officials, which you already see that happening to a small degree, not necessarily here in America, but overseas, because here in America, people are too dumb, fat, and stupid. All right? <laughs> All right, they won't even bust a grape, man. They so damn fat and lazy now. Soft. Can't forget that, Ox. Soft. Super soft. Charmin soft. All huh. right? 
It's, yep. it's going to get really bad out here, man. You think they make these movies like Bushwick and The Purge for no reason? Mm. No, they're letting you know that when there is going to be complete lawlessness because of lack of resources, money, food, water, clothes, houses. All right, you saw what happened. Uh, what was that uh, state where they tried to kick that uh, that veteran dude out of his apartment? Was it Ohio or something? Man, is that I, the one where he started uh it was a shootout yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i think it was in ohio in ohio state. all right they tried to take that man out of his dwelling place he was like hell no i ain't going all right so you starting to see a little bit of that happening already all right and as the scripture says this is the green tree so what's going to happen in the drive nope. what's going to happen when you really can't get something what's going to happen when your back is against the wall and you know, because you've heard the prophets on the street preaching, what do you think is going to happen when you know in your mind that you are going to have to sell out to get what you need? And even then, it's not going to be all that because it's going to come with so many, uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, strings attached. Yep. There you go. It's going to come with so many strings attached mm -hmm. that it's not going to even be worth it. I say this too because you mentioned how, or the scriptures mentioned how it's going to be city against city. Was uh, 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 what did it say? City it said city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, and that, that um, I'll say this that could uh, represent right now these uh, different states, right? And what you're seeing right now is a clash between what they call the uh, basically these uh, red states and these blue states, all right? And then you mentioned the movie Bushwick. And you know how um, um, uh, Batista, right? Yeah. He uh, ended up uh, basically, uh, uh, you know, being the, you know, being the, uh, the soldier down, and they, right. they, you know, they tied him up, and then they were asking him questions. And remember, uh, I don't know if you remember, but he said, "Look, man, the South has uh, seceded from the Union." Right. And then I forgot who he said it started with. I believe it was either it was like Texas. Texas or Florida. I forgot it was. It was one of them states, man. It was like, yeah, one of the red states, like yep. Texas, Florida, what was it, like South Carolina. Yep. But he mentioned that it started with either, it was either Texas or Florida. And look what's happening right now. Who, who's um, who, who, who's the most rebellious state or states? It's Texas and Florida out of you, out of all those red states. And see, once, they, once those two states go, the rest of those uh, red states are going to follow in line, man, and in suit, and they're going to rebel, man. Okay. Because, look, they're not down for being, I'll say it like this, look, these red states, they're not down for being overly taxed. They're not down for this uh, alphabet lifestyle, okay? They're not down for their guns being taken away from them, all right? So on and so forth. They want a piece of the, the pie, so to speak, okay? And see, they, they see their goods being taken away now slowly but surely. So that's why they're getting the spirit of, of fighting. And then you got to remember, they're all about the Constitution and all that, right? And as uh, I think what um, we talked about, right, to bear arms. Yeah, the Second Amendment. A Second Amendment, right? It talks about a right to bear arms. And it says the reason why is uh, to defend yourself against foreign and what? Domestic terrorists. And they see the U.S. government right now as a domestic terrorist that's taking their freedoms away, man. Which actually, th that is true. Okay. That is true. If you want to get uh, 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 down, okay, you know, to it. They're taking your rights away left and right. So that's why there's so much division right now, man. And ultimately it's because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said these things were gonna happen. That's right. Okay? Well, what, what you it's got, all good, I'm gonna go to verse three. Come. It says, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail mm. in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and wizards. And as, as you were mentioning earlier, all right, Babylon the snake is failing. Everything about this place is failing. All right, the money's failing just like it did in Egypt back in the ancient world. All right, the morale is failing. All right, that goes into, uh, I can't remember, I think that might be uh, Timothy, where it says in the last days, uh, uh, people shall be, uh, uh, blasphemous, boastless, prideful, oh, yeah, uh, lacking all natural affection, needy, high-minded, all right? 
And all that is saying that in the last days, the morale will be at the lowest that it's ever been. All right, because when you look at the history of America, especially uh, after World War II, all right, America had their chest out. We the greatest militarily. We got the best values. We got the best money system. All right, we stand on Christian values. We believe in the Bible and the Constitution. All right, now you fast forward the clock. 70 years later, Man, you got folks that are not even proud to say they're Americans anymore. Nope. All right? You can't even walk down this street without seeing a man with a twitch in his hips wearing a damn dress. All right? You got all these uh, YouTube and TikTok compilations of people on there venting because they're pissed off because they just so happen to be some of the few people who did all the right things they uh, uh, paid attention to school. They got a college education. They didn't have any babies. They don't got any student loan, all right? They don't have no child support. They didn't do any of these wrong moves that would set somebody behind. And they're just like, I still can't get ahead. I still can't get a job. I still can't get a house. How can I get a house that's worth half a million dollars? And they're talking about, I got to put down three times the dollar amount and I only make 60 goddamn thousand dollars a year. Where am I going to come up with the extra 120,000 to get a home? Yep. Easy, you won't. And they're frustrated and they're mad because they don't know what the fuck to do. And that's like, as the scripture says, when there is no vision, the people perish. Yep. All right, every, many of these people in America have no hope because America was the end all be all of all their dreams. And now they're seeing that the dream of the American dream, it was just that, a dream. Nope. I was going to add on to you. Go ahead, brother. That, uh, you had, um, I believe it was, um, who was it, was it Schwab? Carl, Carl Schwab. Uh, Carl Schwab, uh, was it uh, the World w, yeah, w, uh, EC? All right. He, he made a point, uh, I believe it was years ago. He made, or sorry, he made this statement years ago saying that, you people are gonna own nothing and love it. Be happy. And, and be happy, okay? See, they, they, the ones that, uh, that run things, they, they want you basically in, in that hardcore slavery again. Except this time, it ain't just gonna be Jake. They want the whole world, the man. The whole world. Okay? They, they, look, if you're not in that upper echelon, look, man, enjoy the crumbs, man. Be grateful I even gave you that. That's their whole spirit, man, Yeah. okay? But I, uh, I got that scripture for you that, hey, uh, that you uh, mentioned. That this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. And we see that. Okay, this uh, I mentioned it's a dog eat dog world out here. You know, hey, these people will do anything just to get above you, okay? You know, these social media platforms gave people a, a voice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> got a voice that ain't yeah. talking about shit. All right. They, they, they got to post every goddamn photo and, 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 you know, every single and capture every moment and share it with you. You know what I'm saying? These people love their goddamn selves. So when this shit crumbles, man, it's every man for himself, so to speak. All right. And you people are going to die terribly. These are just facts, man. It says here, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, petty, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High. And this is um, the average person in America. That, that, that describes an American to the T. Okay? And hey, as the scriptures say, what? Well, because it mentioned being a, a boaster, being proud, right? Yes. And being high minded. What did the scripture say? Um, Quite a few things. Pr pride goes before destruction. Yep. So you people are in a trick bag, man. The Lord's got you in this, 
in this trap and you're about to uh, uh, fall in it and you're about to uh, lose terribly, man. All right? Yep. You are all getting the big L soon, man. It's coming. A lot of you are feeling out, but everybody in this place is going to fucking feel it, man. Okay? Hey, from the top to the bottom, all you are going to feel it. Hey, the only ones that are coming out with the big W are the elect. Everyone else is going to lose. That's right. Hey, the, 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 the game is already rigged, man. The Heavenly Father has his winner's pick and his loser's pick. Yep. Okay? And that's that. Oh, it's all good, but it was good. And he said, uh, I would destroy the... It says that... Yeah, it's Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I would destroy the council thereof. All right? That's that low morality here in America. Yep. And it says, And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. All right, because you're going to have... And Esau can't okay, have that either. All right? <laughs> you're going to have all these That's people... That's Latin tribe, mommy. <laughs> I know, right? You're going to have all these people uh, uh, trying to look at sweet baby Jay. Man, goodness. <laughs> They're going to be seeking the Allah. They're going to be seeking the, all these false idols. All right? Talking, oh, can't okay, forget they, they, they favorite one, they sweet daddy bad uncle Esau, the oh, government. Yeah. All right? Like most people do, they're going to be going to all these other authorities to try to get out their jam, all right? But they're not going to be able to get out the jam because they're not going to have the answers. The only people are who are going to have the answers to what the hell is going to be going down in the very near future. This shit ain't no 30, 40, 50 years away. All right, this is going to happen now. In this generation in this generation yep. all right the only people who are going to have the answers to what's going on are the men of the lord yep. all right as the scripture says uh what's that he doing nothing it's amos it's been at three and seven the... i believe it's three and seven he's doing nothing but revealing yeah, the yeah, three and seven. yeah amos three and seven all right this is amos three and you know what man i gotta start up buddy amos three and six it says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Basically, we are the trumpet. Yep. We are the sound of this truth. All right? And a trumpet is a warning. And we've been giving you the warning. We're telling you that all hell is about to break loose. You need to repent and get right with the Lord or you get dusted. And that, that's the breakdown. We're telling you that this is the warning that we're supposed to give. And it says, Shall there be evil in a city, and Yahweh have not done it? All right, not only now, but what's soon to come with Jacob's trouble. As the brother mentioned, all this stuff is happening right now, first and foremost, because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah ordained it. All right? It's not because you're so smart. It's not because the elite got so much money. And they're so high and mighty, all right? When it compares to the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, they ain't shit, all right? It's the Lord that commands all these things to transpire, okay? And it says, surely Yahweh power doeth nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So when all this hell breaks loose, all right, you people are going to be like, man, we got to go search for them guys. Them guys had all the answers. What, what guys you talking about? You know, the, the, them, them bummy, the, you know, the bummy guys with the beards. The guys that were screaming all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we, we gotta go find them. And see, that goes into the part uh, where the brother mentioned earlier during the lesson where it talks about wit shall hide itself. Because when all this hell breaks loose, we not gonna be out here. It's gonna be too late then. You should have got it while the getting was good, as the uh, uh, world would say goes. Swing that sword, brother. This is Amos 8. And, um, you know, I'm going to start at 10. Yeah. We usually get 11. You know, I'm going to start at 10. I, Amos 8 and 10. And I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. Yep. And I will make it 
as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. And this is what's coming, man. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is what's coming to this place, man. All right. Hey, your 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 feasts are gonna turn into mourning. All right. Your uh, your songs into lamentations. Okay. This is what's coming to this place. Nothing good, man. Um, Amos eight eleven. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro, and seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. All right? And see, as the brother mentioned, eventually you people are going to go and come, come to Roosevelt. All right? Yeah, you're going to go to the, uh, the downtown areas, you know. By the Macy's, you can go 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 to A87, the High Park where we were teaching, right? To the north side, all right, out there by uh, Loyola. You're gonna try to uh uh, uh you, in that day you're gonna try to go over there and, and find this uh, uh this information, but it's gonna be too late. You you think we're gonna be preaching when all hell breaks loose? Are you out your goddamn mind? All right. Yeah. This is good. You know, you like I say, you, you think we're gonna be teaching when all hell breaks loose? Like, like I said earlier, we're doing the talking now. Get it while you can. If not, who cares? Fuck you. It wasn't meant for you anyways. Thanks. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right, because as the brother mentioned, but we're not gonna be out on, but we're not gonna be out on the streets anymore. The folks are gonna be scared. They're gonna be in fear of your life. Okay, and the thing that that makes fear as powerful as it is is because you don't know, and even if you do know, you lack the understanding. Right. See, it's what, like going in a fight. Exactly, brother. And exactly see, all these people are going to be going out here. They're going to be wondering why these FEMA troops are busting people upside the head. They're going to be wondering why all these bodies are laid down on the floor with no sudden cause of death. We don't know what the hell just happened. All right, people are going to be running and losing their mind when they hoes are getting ransacked because they got a big ass supply of food. They've been running their mouth for how they've been prepping for the last 10, 15 years. Oh, man. Yeah. Folks are going to be scared when they know, hey, you can't call your daddy to 911 anymore. That's right. Ain't going to be no police. Ain't going to be no Chicago Fire Department in that day. Yep. And you all will not understand why it's happening. The only people who are going to know what's going down is the men of the Lord. And as the scripture said, when all this hell comes upon you, we're going to be sitting back laughing at your stupid ass. Because yeah. you had the time to get right. You smacked the Lord's hand away. And so the Lord said, all right, man. Man, swing that sword, brother. This is uh, Isaiah 13 and verse 14. It says, it's going back to what the brother freed or, or elaborating on. It says, and it shall be as a chaste rope, as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. So a lot of things not going to matter. It said as a sheep that no man take it up. A sheep is something of value. That's like fouling a pile of money. Like the money just blowing down the street. All right? None of that shit going to matter. But it said every man shall turn to his own people because it's going to be class wars, you know, and things of that nature. You know, these people going to pack up, go back to fucking Arabia, right. go back to China. And all these other random places they from, and it's gonna be sleeper cells over here annihilating people. That's right. They said they shall every man turn to his own people and flee into his own land. Everyone that is found, and that's talking about in this place right here, everyone that is found shall be thrust through 
and everyone that is joined to them shall fall by the sword. And how are people going to join to these people? By taking the MOTB, right. by believing the so-called white man is J-E-S-U-S. Yep. Well, he is. He not Yahweh Shai. All right. Everybody that's I think you have some real white friends. You know, it said their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bow shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall their, neither so like it, their eyes shall not spare children. And this is what's gonna happen to this place. We're talking about Babylon, all right? With them Russians, all right, them Iranians, them Koreans, and everybody else under that, that Russian umbrella, so to speak, man. Especially these heathens in the Middle East, man. They they sick of you, you, you so-called white people in America, man. Right, That's right. why he said, I'm gonna stir up the Medes against them. And they not gonna regard silver, though. And America don't even have none to get. Right. All you can get is this ass whooping because it's judgment from the Lord. Right. You can't solve an immoral problem with some money. You got something? Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter 15. Verse 28, Behold, a horrible vision, the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also the Carmenians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of Assyria. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature, and if they and if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power to persecute them. Right? And as the, the elder brother Yeremiah said, man, hey, these Arab nations, man, are tired of you, man. Okay? And the Lord's putting that spirit in them, all right, to get in that spirit of warfare, okay? Right. And, then, and then you got, as the brother uh, brought out that, that, uh, that uh, the Isaiah the 13th chapter with the Medes, okay? You know, which is also Gog and Magog. Hey, they're that shield for these uh, uh, so-called weaker nations. Yeah. Now, now, now they can uh, say that I'm strong. Look, yeah. I, I got some nukes too, buddy. Yeah. Right. They got the gooks with them. That's right. Yep. You know, look, before you bring that out. Look, America is all BPH'd out. They all got the shit in them. So. All right, they all got the soy boy. Look, go watch them gooks train, bro. Yeah. Go watch them Russians train. They ain't fucking around. Man, they ain't not fucking around. Go ahead. These niggas, yep. these niggas karate chopping cinder blocks for real. Yep. Head button cinder blocks for real. Whooping ass, bro. They got this nigga Tyron Woodley over there training motherfucking Arab ass niggas in Dubai, bro. Whole room full of motherfuckers, bro. Dhabi. Man, they, bro, they coming over here to whoop you niggas ass, man. That's right. <laughs> this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And that's happening right now. You got the men of the Lord, all right, that are preaching day in and day out, man. All right? Day in and day out. That's right. And you hey, you still reject it. Hey, but it's the scriptures say, uh, hey, let, let the wicked be wicked still. Yeah. All right? Hey, we, we understand that only a, a, a small group, all right, uh, uh, that, that remnant, okay, is going to uh, really... You know, take heed to what's being said. That's right. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Hey, how did the Lord stretch out his hand? Right here. This is the Lord. The Lord ain't popping up in a fucking uh, lamp like a genie to talk to you stupid ass niggas. He said, surely he do nothing unless he reveal the secrets to a servant of the prophets. He said, many great kingdoms, nations, the prophets that were before thee and before thee have prophesied the downfall of these kingdoms. The Lord wakes up his prophets and he cuts this place, man. That white woman's sweet. Go ahead. Right. Hell, Pro flesh is hell. Proverbs 1 and 25. Hell, flesh. Flesh. 
But ye have set not, you have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproofs. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Hey man, you got a, you got a saying in the world that it's, it's no such thing as an atheist in a foxhole. See, once, once, once shit start getting Woo! hot out here, you people gonna be begging for the Lord to come and stop it. Cause all you people know that what we saying is real, man. You just wanna do what you wanna do. Especially you Jakes, man. Especially. 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 Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. They would none of my counsel. They despise all of my reproof. Therefore shall these are uh, uh, the reproofs right here. The scriptures say what? They hate him that rebuked in the gate. Yep. Hey, these people. They, 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 these people want to uh, continue in their folly, man. All right. Like how we mentioned earlier, they, they want to go celebrate Mexican independence. All right. They, they want to uh, uh, go to Lollapalooza riot fest. Yeah. They want to go see little Dirk at the United Center. That's right. Okay? They want to go smoke that blunt, do a lot of coke. Okay? Do some perks. <laughs> Commit adultery. Yeah. That's right. They just loves being wicked, man. That's right. Proverbs 1 and 31. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. And that's what's going to happen to all of you niggas, man. You niggas like perks, and you niggas like doing all that shit. Well, not only are you going to be able to take all the perks you want, but then the perks going to go away, and the perk heads going to come get you. <laughs> perk your ass up. What is you know? perk dirty. Perk dirty. It's going to be time perk for the percolator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> ass niggas. All right, all of you, uh, all of you women that's out of order that say you don't need a man or you don't have to respect men, or you in that uh, Carol Danvers spirit, and you think you can beat up a nigga that's 6'5 and you weigh 90 pounds, you gonna get you gonna get your opportunity to defend yourself. I'm gonna hit your ass on top of the head you step to me. Look, I'm slamming, bitches. I'm slamming bitches like that nigga that slammed the bitch and the money fell out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm on now. Now Sonic man. rings out there, goofy bitch. <laughs> but all, all you people gonna get your way, man. Hey, like the elder Michael was saying, they wanna ride these ladies. They wanna ride the cock carousels. Right. It's gonna ride them. That's right. All right. The Lord knows all you niggas worth fears too. And it's going back to what the brother had brought out. Cause that is a, a, a wise saying in the world. It's no atheist in the foxhole, man. You know? Cause all these people, like like I used to argue, um, rebuking uh, this this bitch I know, you know, she's uh, one of my baby mama's sister, and this is when I was early in the truth. I used to curse these hoes out. You, you know how Jake is, and I and she's well, I don't believe in this. I don't believe. I said it don't matter if you don't believe in it. I guarantee you, if a car smash your baby right now, you're gonna be praying, screaming, God. Nope. Stupid. This is I uh, uh Psalms one ten and three. It says. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast to do of thy youth. Because the Lord is going to strengthen us. And when he does strengthen us, that's when our people are going to be willing to get out here and do this. Oh, yeah, that's a sweet white woman. White. Keisha ain't doing nothing with that. At all. Nothing. Don't look at her, you little nigga. You'll never grow up to be like that. <laughs> White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like that white baby that I don't. But yeah, that people gonna be winning the dead eye power. And then it's gonna be fucking too late. It's gonna be too late. What that nigga say it's too late to apologize. It's over with, man. Go ahead, I got something for you. This is Zephaniah 1. I'm gonna start at 11. It says, How ye inhabitants of Mektesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, 
Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. All right? And a lot of you niggas are comfortable here in, in Babylon the snake. All of them are. And what I don't understand is you broke dusty niggas are comfortable in. I like how you comfortable when you you there you living in the projects. All right? It's all right? Black, it's you got fucking babies by three damn black women. I mean, that's horrible. Yeah, that's horrible. horrible. No. Horrible. 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 But as long as you get that dope money, as long as you can smoke bud and commit adultery, man, you all good. Pop true, true. They pop their pills now. Yeah, they pop pills. All right? And some of you guys, you know, you on the opposite end of the spectrum. All right? You got your business degree. You got your own little crew around. Y'all doing good. Y'all got some properties. Smoking them cigars. Talk about crypto and generational wealth. Right, Y'all right. the next leaders of the hey, black why, community. Right, right, right. right, why, right. Why, 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 they left, they was cutting. <laughs> they, they, they been over there the whole time. Listen, to yeah, how about shit me? I was shot my witness, bro. The man stopped. I wanted to put the camera on him. The man stopped shooting dice and looked over at us. He said, Dusty niggas comfortable. He shot two more times. He said, bro, let's go, bro. Look, they finna go right there and do it. They just gonna go right next door. Yeah, they right here. They, 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 they <laughs> niggas comfortable over there shooting dice. No showers in sight. They not man. even shooting for money. They don't have any money. We're smelling like old musty ass red dog, man. You, you, you niggas are way too comfortable. Even with the that with you turning on the news and the police putting a foot in your ass, all right? You niggas getting raped on, on, on child support. Oh yeah. yeah. And y'all still yeah. wanna try to ball in this place, it's man. You niggas are completely bugged out. We Hebrew Israelites, but I'm not a Judite, but yeah, we Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. All the time. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Jake right, drive man. by. Right. right, right, you know? <laughs> but yeah, man, you niggas are way too comfortable in this place. I know, that's a beautiful small white right. Man, it's just a beautiful You look like man. a kite, right? Because I bet some of you all still waiting for government handouts. Yes. Of course. Of course. All right? And because you're so comfortable, you're not seeking the Lord while he may be found. That's right. Because you got your woman, you got your crypto, you got... We Hebrew Israelites, brother, like you. Yeah. Really? How did your people come to America? Your people? On slave ships. On what? On slave ships. Get Deuteronomy. Right. Come over here. Come right here. You don't got to be on the camera. Just come right here. Yeah, if you don't I don't like screaming. No, no, no. Stand on the side of it, brother. We, we, we I just ask questions. No, you should ask questions, brother. And we should teach you. That's why we're out here. The scriptures say the Lord doing nothing unless he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. America is about to be destroyed. He got to send the prophets out here. Read, read the run. It looks like the whole world is. No, nah, the Lord ain't going to destroy his whole world. He never told you he was going to do that. Read. Listen he to said he was going to destroy Mr. Babylon the Great. That's what he said. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh, I'm going to let them read it. Then I'm going to break it down. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there it shall be sold unto your enemies. Uh -huh. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Now you see that? He said you shall go into Egypt on ships. Now this is a future prophecy. Now you just said that we got here on ships. This is in the Bible. This is Deuteronomy. I'm going to wait to this, this shit, man. It's Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and the 68th verse. Now, read it over, and we're going to break it down. All right, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So Egypt means bondage? I'm finna, fuck, I mean, if you fucking let me talk, if you want to teach, I'm go just, over there. No, I'm just, I'm just said, I'm going to break it down. Okay. Just be patient, brother. The word okay. Egypt means double go trace when you way. look it up. That's fine, Thank too. Bye. You got Mark. I hope the Lord kill you, nigga. Keep reading. Be Fuck you. Them, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. You. Be careful about me. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt so again. No, no, no. He knew who he was, bro. When he said that, he tried to come up here and teach. We ain't in that spirit, nigga. That's right. You ain't coming up here. I don't know how other camps work. I don't know how the GMS in the other state. You ain't coming in Roosevelt on that shit. That's Get right. the fuck off the street, nigga. Right. You got Mark, nigga, fuck you, get knife raped somewhere. Read. Right. Right. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, 
by the way of I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And a nigga was wrong. Because Egypt means double traits. That's right. what Egypt really means. Yep. It goes back to Matazari or Mizraim. But we do compare it to the house of bondage because it is the house of bondage. And that's what the Lord said he delivered us out of in Exodus the 20th chapter. And if that nigga stuck around, he would have learned that. No, when you go into it, it actually means straights. Double straights, nigga. <laughs> that bootleg ass camp didn't teach you that. Ecclesiasticus 5 and 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. See, well, he knew what he was going to do. That's why he took off his hat. He thought he was really going to come. I noticed everything he tried to do. Go ahead. It says, for they consider not that they do evil. It says, be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter, utter anything before the Most High. Exactly. Then, I don't get it. He said, I'm coming up here just to listen. Why the fuck you start talking? <laughs> this, 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 this is the spirit of niggas, bro. And this is why all you keyboard prophets, you niggas that have just came out the woodworks, you watch, like the Elder Malcolm says, you watch all the camps collectively, six months, Get you a fucking garment. The Lord commanded us to go out into the highways and the byways for a reason. Because it teaches experience. And it also shows you the lifestyle of a prophet. You actually understand what John went through, what the Apostle Paul went through, what the Lord Yahweh Shai went through, what Jeremiah went through, what Hosea, Obadiah, Zechariah, Zephaniah, Nahum, all the mighty prophets went through. When you go out and deal with these niggas, you can't do that from a keyboard. It's not even the same experience. It's nothing like it, bro. Right. It's just like a nigga playing the game and then the nigga go to smart. You, your reflex is just different, man. Right. You know these are the rebellious. Get, get, get Jose a 4-4. You finish with that? That's a little bit. And it says, For the Most High is in heaven, and thou art upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Be few. Be few. That's why I told him, if you want to ask a question, you should ask questions. I told him you should ask, but see, he can't go, well, don't diss me, get the fuck away from me. That shit over with, bro. Yeah, I was out here in 2012, 2013, and all that shit. Yeah, that, that, that was the spirit, you know, we had to prove everything and go back and forth. Well, I'm not, look, nigga, all right, that way, nigga. I'm not in that spirit. We ain't going back and forth. The camera can be edified when this nigger leaves. Right. Go ahead, brother. It's Hosea 4 and 4. Yet, yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. You see that? And this is how you know who the real priest is. Because they don't go to the... Darling, that's a 50 million niggas, especially in Chicago. Because that's where all that FOI shit started, bro. This is an Islam stronghold. These niggas finna go to Juma, wrap their little peanut heads up, and pray to a false god and not say nothing. Then they go hit the club, then all these Christianity bug outs gonna go into the Christian church and the Catholic church all throughout the cities and don't say shit. Don't question nothing they being taught because those people are soothsayers and false prophets. Keep reading. But these are they to strive with the priests. That's how you know you have to get out here, man. Go ahead. Hosea 4 and 5. Nigga. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, mm -hmm. and I will destroy thy mother. And that's why you niggas, that's why I told him, go somewhere and get knife R-A-P-E-D. Because that's your future. The murder just prophesied that on you. Right. Lord willing, that be your judgment. It's coming up here doing that stupid shit, lest you repent. Well, hey, baby. Come on, man. Fired up. Fired up about this shit, man. Go ahead. Hosea 4 and 6. My people White are destroyed man. for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. See that? I will also reject because he rejected knowledge. He would have got the breakdown. He would have got something that was vital for salvation. But the Lord has rejected you, nigga. Go ahead. That thou shalt be no priest to me. He ain't worthy. Go ahead. 
seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And this is why the Lord is frowning upon you niggas right now, bro. Because you forgot his law, man. Hey, and Jeremiah, he said, they have forgot my people have forgotten me days without number. Mm. Just niggas, man. Right. Read what y'all got. Hey, and somebody get that. You can read what you got, though, not to stop. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 28. And it came to pass when Yahweh Shai had ended these things, these, it's like, these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Ooh. All right? And we come in that same spirit, man. Look, you're not teaching us. All right? We're not here to get taught. We're here we, to teach. Oh, oh, oh. I'd have been in plenty of courts of law. All right? And I never snitched either. But well, I just want to tell you that. <laughs> but that's part of y'all thing now. That's the new fact. And one thing about going to court, you see your case, you know, everybody shackled down. You see other niggas getting read their rights. Nobody can argue with the judge. Yeah. When he bang that gavel, it's that's over it. with. You niggas in court right now, you're not supposed to be talking. You got the prosecutor, you know, you got the lawyer. Yo ass sit there and shut the fuck up. Hey, what happened when niggas be coming? Oh, I ain't, I ain't got no lawyer. I'm gonna be my, they all get slammed. Oh, and it looks stupid. Yeah. I'm gonna represent myself. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna represent myself. <laughs> Man, the state of Illinois gonna get you, niggas. Or wherever you at. But these are those niggas, bro. We are the judges. You don't go and do that, man. Go ahead, man. You can't do that in a court of law because the judge speaks with authority. Read that again, Atazar. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse, verse 28. And it came to pass when Yahweh Shah had ended these sayings, the people were astonished, astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. That's right. And not as the scribes. Because the scribes. Look at her trying to fake be a white woman. Jigaboo. Oh, it's probably a tra uh, transformer. Oh, boy. Even worse. Jigger. Oh. That blind wig, man. Take the white woman here off you, general. But yeah, man. One that spoke with authority. See, brothers, what you got to understand is we are authority figures, man. We set it up to be the next rulers of the earth. I'm not going back and forth with no nigga. If you knew what you thought you knew, y'all stupid ass either be over here or over there teaching. The fuck is you doing? That's why, and even these Israelite niggers that, that so-called know who they are. Alright, when was the last time you went out? Let me see your page. When was the last time you went out? Exactly, man. Go ahead, brother. Read what y'all got, man. I got, uh, and this uh, backs up what the brother man. is talking about, man, because this is how much authority the Lord has given his prophets, not because of our own strength, because the Lord chose and ordained it so. All right? This is Jeremiah 1 and 10. And it says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy, and to go down, to build, and to plant. That's right, that's Jeremiah. And all these things are, are go to the definition of Jeremiah. And I'm gonna scroll down to uh, This verse, is what he came to do. Verse 18, it says, For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, and an iron pillar, and a brazen walls against the whole land. Against the whole, fuck these niggas, man. That's what he told the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah, your how is exalted, man. Fuck these niggas, man. The Lord ain't dealing with them. But he told Ezekiel the same thing. I made your head hard against theirs as an adamant flint. Look, fuck them. Go ahead. Let me read that again. Please. Jeremiah 1 and 18. It says, For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brazen walls. Man, that, that's a heavy metaphor, man. Or what they call that, a simile? Like, like an ass nah, yeah. compared to something? Yeah. I mean, those are very strong similes. Like, uh, what's that? An iron pillar 
brazen walls, a defense city. All right, yeah. when you look at some of them old uh, uh, timepieces where folks was in them castles, yeah. Man, did you see that how fortified those places were? They had high walls, they had trenches, they had them uh, big ass pieces of, uh, of, of of lumber in the ground with the spikes. Right. All right, they had hot oil just in case you infiltrated the Char, castle. Tar, all that. Yeah, Man. watch, watch that. Uh, watch that. Uh, um, um, Vikings. When yes. they went to France. Yeah. And uh, what, what, before they before he killed Ethelstan, he said, "What do you think about it?" He said, they say the city's impregnable. But when they got to it, they say it was so fucking hard to get in. They had to get in through machine. It was. But, hey, like like they say in the world, if you can trick them, you can beat them. Right? No, I'll trick them. But it wasn't no getting in there. Then they had the thing that, well, once your ass do get in there, yeah, if yeah. they got the fucking... That's how that was. That's what the Lord said he made us. It says, for behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and a brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith Yahweh, to deliver thee. That's it. That's all you need to know, man. The Lord is dealing with us and not them. But they forgot about the Lord. So they come up to us. The Lord? Who is that? That's the spirit they in. The Lord, who is that? Well, nigga, you about to find out. Hi. Hey. Hey. Fresh young and white. Read that. Baby. Yeah, they, come on, man. They sweet and white. Read that. They're yeah, fresh. You got something that? Oh, no. Oh, Exciting. <laughs> that little bitch is a fresh spoil, man. Hey, they ain't gonna be walking around. Hey, get that days without number. I got it. That's why these niggas look at us crazy. I don't give a fuck. I look at you crazy, too, nigga. Hey, the scriptures say the just is an abomination to the just. And the unjust is an abomination to the just. You said, well, you can get it. That's that's it. It's your Nagi and favor. Because see, I can't picture myself walking around out here being a mo. That's right. I can't picture myself walking around here being a game banger. You know? I can't picture myself out here being a fucking nigga in corporate America all bugged out. That's right. just, so they can't picture themselves doing this. And I don't right. give a fuck. <laughs> Shalom, Ma. This is, this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. Hey, when niggas like me, I, I, I feel like, oh, wait a minute, am I doing something wrong? Did I read long enough today? Am I watching my videos? This, even in, even in secular things, in carnal things, I like saying secular. But even in things that, that's, you know, damn, look at that rice. Oh. When you gotta think, when dudes get their life right or they get their diet right, you know, they start eating right, you know, they start drinking water, they start working out, training the martial art, people look at them weird, bro. Because they can't see they self doing this. It's the same thing. They don't see they self disciplining their mind and um, holding their flesh. Back, so to speak. Hey, like the apostle, who was that? Paul, no, Peter. Peter said, What? Abstain from fleshly lust, which war against thy soul. And they see that on the faces of the prophets. Right. They see that in the lifestyle of the prophets. So they can't see themselves doing none of this shit. And I can't see myself being a soy boy neither. So That's right. good, nigga. That's right. I hope you don't like me. Read it over, Nazis. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 29. You got the day without number. Bring Verse 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. All right, so we, we, we glad you think you know shit. We glad you come up this coffin. That's fine, nigga. We know the Lord and you don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're talking all year. Yeah, that's, that's fine right there. <laughs> yeah, we ain't no, we, yeah, we like, we like bitches too. Because we real men. Hey, the wisest man on the planet has 700 wives and 300 concubines. That's right. So you figure it out, pussy. Why they looking at them? Why they ain't walking with no dude? And they ain't black either. And they ain't black. Start, I don't say that again. They ain't you black either. Oh, China, that bitch from the kingdom of China. The kingdom of <laughs> Go <ahead>. China. Oh. <laughs> I'm some die. I was with a goop this morning, but you know, it was the Sabbath. I couldn't do shit with her. 
but it was still good to be filling on some real hair. Oh, Go ahead. She want to make some soup. Hey. This is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 32. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Days without number, bro. You know? You ain't gonna forget your clothes. None of that. But you can forget the Lord. Towel. She wanna make some general towel. You might have to go wrap her up. Oh. I wouldn't I wouldn't rebuke you for it. But um, yeah. Days without number, man. You got something to Uh is it more than that? Yeah. Go ahead. Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. That's what Jake problem is. Oh man. yeah. They 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 want to get approval, a heathen's approval. A nigga that eat pork. They want to get a mole's approval. <laughs> a nigga that just sucked the rod. Oh. Now we ain't gonna keep it in the row. That's right. This is this, these are the opinions you niggas thought. Niggas celebrate. Donny Hathaway, man. Mistletoe ass niggas, man. These niggas won't eat a eat a bite of food. Niggas out of the mistletoe. Worried about how, how, you, how a bitch feel about you. A straight bitch, bro. That had had a hundred rods in a year. What you worry about how this bitch feel? That nigga a jake, man. Hit <laughs> with that hat. <laughs> Fucking like hat wicked, bro. <laughs> The way it's yeah, he got it leaning it. too. He the, got way, it yeah, leaning. Yeah, the way he leaning with the hat, bro. Leaning to the left. Like, like a big shot. shot. That nigga wicked. He finally in his office playing this shit right now. The conference call come on and shit. He changed his whole lingo. Take off the hat and shit. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a take. Look at that. Look at this dude. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Allen Long Group. I hope y'all can see it. That dude's a nigga. See, this is what we mean when we say speckled bird. Dudes that look like Eve, but you know they Jake. Look, look at this nigga, man. <laughs> Kid Allen, that dude's a nigga, man. There's no way that dude eat a bike, man. <laughs> he probably, he definitely a wicked nigga, but he definitely want us. We see him in the keys, man. Go ahead. again. Uh, no, that's uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 2 and 34. Also in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but upon all these. Yet thou sayest, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. <coughs> Behold, I will plead with thee, because thou sayest, I have not sinned. And that's what Jake mentality is, man. Well, I, Anytime one of these niggas die, you hear him talk about it. He he was the nicest person. <laughs> that bitch that quote unquote got hit with the brick said she never did nothing to nobody in her life to deserve that. And that whole situation was a fucking lie. You know? And that's the spirit that Definitely Jake be in, man. See, they'll they'll say that we are wicked because we don't fuck with heathens and, and, and moles and all this other bullshit niggas be fucking with. So we wicked for that. And they feel like they, that, that, that the Lord loved them and everybody, and that's the spirit that they in. That's, that's how they carry this shit, man. This is Ezra 9 and 13. And it says, and after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, and this is us. Yep. That's why Sin. Micah said what? As for me, I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Cause we actually know that we fucking wrong. Right. That's that's part of repenting. That's the first step of repentance. Even when you go to these Alcoholics Anonymous, what they say, you have to acknowledge you have a problem first. These niggas don't think they have a problem. Go ahead. That's right. And it says our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. He said what? He has punished us less than what our iniquities he deserve. He said what? He has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. That's why I say, when you talk about the Lord jacking you up or you have financial problems or any real problems, you know, or any so-called problems, you really being proud, man. Because the, look, look at the Lord, you how shy, man. You really being proud, man. He punished us less than our iniquities deserve. So all that I never did shit in my life, bitch, they should have poured some oil on you and lit your black ass on fire, you nigga. That's right. 
That's what Brian Boitano do if he was here today. That's right. But that's what the brother said. That, that's what these niggers think. Oh, I never did nothing. Yeah. I didn't, my homies, you know, I, I grew up in the street and shit, fucking around, you know, here in Chicago. Hey, niggas get smoked. And I know these niggas, and I done did shit to them and with them. Pause. Of course. Hey, then yeah, they grow up. You grow up and, you know, getting the truth and repent. See, these niggas get smoked on TV. I, man, I know this nigga. They got his eighth grade picture up here. He never did nothing. I'm like, this nigga, he was. I asked him for I said, this nigga been wicked since sixth grade, man. <laughs> I knew this nigga, man. And they always do it. They had his eighth grade ass picture. Best smile. He was the nicest person. Yeah, he, he like this been. with the football and shit. <laughs> this murderous <laughs> ass nigga, I don't want to go around him. I don't trust him. This nigga robbed three niggas before. Yeah, before. man. Before robbing motherfuckers right before every day. Him. Come on, man. We got that picture. We got the baseball. This nigga in fucking third grade, bro. <laughs> Wicked. That's, Wicked that, big, that's that big mama shit, man. He never <laughs> did nothing in this life. <laughs> they gotta go. They gotta go to the bitch house to find a picture and dust it off. Shit, nigga been wicked as hell fact, for the last you know the twenty bitch, years. <laughs> go ahead, man. I'm gonna read all that verse fourteen behind it too. Tilt the fucking picture and shit slow. That's it. Yeah, that bitch is slow as hell. Start yeah, turning. man. <laughs> that this nigga was wicked as hell, man. I, and that's why I ain't got no sympathy for these niggas, bro. Because that's the same spirit. He never did nothing wrong. Shut up. Boy, right. It says, shall we again break thy commandments and join in affinity with the people of these abominations? Wouldst thou not be angry with us till thou hadst consumed us, or so that there should be no remnant nor escaping? Right. So, hey, man, this way, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, you know, the Lord is punishing us less than what our iniquities deserve. All right? We broke the commandments. We went off. So it's like, all right, we got to take this ass open until, you know, it's time for us to get beat up on out of this place. Hey, that's what the whole ministry, that's what the whole life of our shop was about. This whole ministry shows that. And like I tell people all the time, just having a little bit of physicality or a little bit of power or a little bit of skill up on somebody, you have to understand what the Lord went through. Was, he could have whooped everybody ass and ever disrespected him. He could have snapped his fingers and had them a He had spiritual powers. He could have killed all these niggas. And look what he went through, bro. Hey, the apostles had spiritual powers, bro. Look what they went through. That's why the Lord said you were still drinking a cup. You know, we see in, uh, examples of the prophets and apostles having spiritual powers. Right. When you go to um, the Ethiopian eunuch, and I think that was Philip, in the chariot, he teleported. Hey, when you go to um, Acts, the, uh, the, I think it's the last book of Acts, the apostle Paul got bit by a viper. I got bit. You can't make this shit up. He has spiritual powers. And I use that with the John 9, but I'm going to explain why. Go ahead. This is Acts 28 and 1. And it says, and when they were escaped. This is Acts 28 and 1. It says, and when they were escaped, then they knew that the lamb was called Melita. And the barbarous people showed us no little kindness. For they kindled a fire and received us every one because of the present rain and because of the cold. So they accepted them in. Go ahead. It says, and when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on to his hand. It says, and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt, this man is a mother. See, they knew that. They, they, it was common knowledge that the Lord jacks you up. But see, the average person don't even fucking think about the Lord anymore. And that's why I'd be happy when the Lord kill you stupid niggers in the street. Read. It says, whom though he hath escaped to see, yet vengeance suffered not to live. You know, so he said, man, 
the Lord, just like just like it said, it'd be one that ran into a, um, a bear, ran from a lion, and the bear met him. Yeah. The same thing. They really understood the concept of uh, you did shit, and the Lord punished you for it. That's why I say John the ninth chapter, he said what? Who did sin? This man or his parents, he was going, going blind. And neither was the case. It only happened to show the works of the Lord. And this is what happened to the Apostle Paul. He only got bit like that. So that you can see the power and the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Verse 5. It says, And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. That's right. It says, Howbeit they looked when he should have swollen or fallen down deadly suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. See? They already knew what level he was on, man. He said it, he changed their minds. And they showed that he was a god. That's Jake, man, don't run. Yep. <laughs> he said he showed that he was a god, man. Yep. Now, granted, you know, <laughs> niggas were superstitious back in the day, so they probably would have set up a totem pole for him, but they knew that the most high was dealing with him, man, because of that, man. Because if he would have died, they would have knew it was the Lord jacking him up. But when they seen him, Scriptures say they, I'll give you a power to tread over serpents and scorpions. Got it right here. Go ahead. This I told little, this brother yeah. to get it. That was the spirit. This Go ahead. 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let that bullshit go fast. Go ahead, bro. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Break it down, go ahead. So like the brother said, the Lord will, will, will show his power through giving brothers the ability to quote unquote tank through things like that. You give it by a snake, the Lord will, will allow you to purge that out your body. Anything though, it don't necessarily just got to be that. Any kind of situation, and that's even when we was in Egypt, it was the, it was a, it was a similar concept. It was an unsurmountable situation. The Egyptians was the strongest civilization on the earth at that time, and the Lord delivered us out of that to show His power. Same thing that's gonna happen now with this civilization. This is the most powerful civilization on the earth. The Lord gonna show His power by delivering us out of odds that's insurmountable. We're supposed to not be able to beat these Edomites, man. Based on how it's set up. Just like he was supposed to die when he got hit by the snake, but he did. That's right. That's right. Hey, and that's why all you Negroes, that was a good point you made, that last point. All you stupid Negroes, like you monkeys and ISUPK, and all you niggas that want to get arms and get shots. Look, nigga. So-called white man don't care about niggas having guns. They give you niggas guns. And you don't do shit for shit. You know? You will never outgun the so-called white man. He controls the, the weapon supply. He controls the weapon supply. Controls the water. All right? He controls all your satellites. He controls all Deliverance would be great. Just like the Lord delivered us out of the land of Egypt. Somebody can get that. No longer would they say, Yahweh Shimon shot that power. That delivered you out of Egypt, but out of the land of the Lord. That was miraculous. But if we came out with our 40s and tanks and all this bullshit, we wouldn't get the Lord no power for it. No praise for it. Even if the Lord has to be the Lord of first. So all you niggas that's trying to man arms and store up shit up, you can't take the Howard Shah's blood. That's right. Hey, with Gideon, that's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. One of my favorite scriptures in that chapter. Hey, but with Gideon and them, they went and got up with them guys. The Lord said, how many people go for him? Nope, that's too many. How many people go? Nope, that's too many. Because if y'all do it like that, then, that, then nobody, then you're not even going to understand the power of the Lord. So if you did get some, say you niggas ran across some nukes, man. Or one of these old Saudi dudes just gave you niggas some nukes. You're gonna take away the credibility of Yahweh Shai, and the Lord told him he was gonna get his glory, and that's where it starts, and that's where it ends, man. 
Go ahead, brother. This is, this is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 7. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord thy power, that they shall know who are saying the Lord's image, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord thy power living, which brought up and which fed the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries, whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Exactly. So the Lord goes through this. That's the spirit, because that's the last part I was supposed to break down. That's what I was going to say. No man shall buy it. That goes into somebody else's delivery. You're not going to deliver yourself. Marcus Garvey and that fucking clown doctor, you are not going to do it. That's right. I write one of these niggers in a black conscious community. Grow, grow light. He's a monster. TD face. You know? All these wicked niggers in a Christian church. No. It's going to be the Lord, Yahweh Shah, who does it. And That's he's right. not going to come out the sky with blonde hair, blue eyes, looking like the white man we love so much. He's going to come back with chariots of fire, red eyes, and a loud voice, and his whole, and the host of heaven with him. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Matthew. That's what the Bible says. I don't know about you niggas in fairy tale. That's this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Oh. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Ooh. And then shall appear the sight of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in, in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And that's what the fuck we're going to get to. When you have a lot of shit, I'm going to see you. He said, I'm going to meet you. I'm not going to meet you as a man. I was, I was thinking about it. I'm not going to meet you as a man. That's right. All your guns, your missiles, your loops, your, your, your F fighters, and all that bullshit ain't gonna save your life. Oh, hey, that's what he's talking about. When you read Revelation, and he said the war broke out in heaven, you ain't gonna have nothing left. Yeah. Between Satan and his angels, and Michael Garvey and his angels, you ain't gonna have nothing left. That's talking about the hey, why do you think see you niggas think this is far fetched? Hey, why do you think that Donald Trump has said that we should add Jews to the Jewish nation? Because he wanted to see how they would react to that. Right. This is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. And there was a boy in heaven. I think it's so far. And the dragon fought in the city. What do you mean the so far? And so far. And no. Not. No, no, we don't, we don't have, have, we don't have our trouble. We, we got one, but we ain't got a boy. Are you guys uh, observing the future Trump yesterday? Yeah, we observe all of them. You know what I'm saying? But they have some people counting. No, I understand. These damn F1 fighters or whatever the fuck they got. One second, let them do this. They're going to be destroyed. They said they prevailed not. And no more place was found for them. They threw. I read that idea. You got the question? Yeah.
lot of these camps, like uh, I would say ISU, uh, IUIC and uh, ISUPK, they keep the high holy days when the fake Jews do. Like IUIC is famous for that. Like every time the Amalekites do it, that's what they do. We don't do it like that. Just like the South. We keep all our Sabbaths, all our days, according to the new moon cycle. That's right. You know? Yeah. All right. And they're the, uh, the Julian and the Gloria today. It's all the same shit. And but I'll say today is most of the Gloria County. I was going to make a point too. Go ahead. The Bible doesn't deal with uh, uh, days of the week. It deals with numbers, man. All right? The first day, the second day, etc. You see, those calendars, they are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so on and so forth, man. All right? And that shit is off. Okay? Because I'll say this, some days you have what? Or some months you have what? Like February, 28 days. Certain months have 31 days. It's all fucking bugged out, man. It doesn't make any sense. All right? But uh, I'm going to keep reading. This is exactly. A, that's, that's a good point, too. This is Sirach 43. Then you got what? Deep years? You know what I'm saying? All, all this fucking weird shit. This is uh, Sirach 43. and uh, 7 now. From the moon is the sign of peace. A light that decreases in her perfection. The month is is called after her name. He said a light. He said a light that decreases. I'll read you again. This is it, a, no, 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 real quick. He said, no, no, wait, wait. This is Sirach chapter forty-three and seven. From the moon is the sign of peace. A light that decreases in her perfection. No, you, you can write it down. I mean, I will. So yeah, basically the moon is a sign of peace, all right? You have to observe the moon in order to understand peace. I got you. I got you. Yeah. 
Call that out again for the brother, Bible. This is, uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And that's what they did. That's why you have a Jewish God. That's why you have a Jewish God. And times and laws. Look at it. You can go to jail for calling an H-Law a fucking H-Law. Nigga, you woke up and judge somebody sick, not me. Time. That's a sick change of time of life. That's all my white man did that, man. That, that's good about it, man. That's the only part I want. No, what is that? What is that? Yeah, you know what? This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws. Yeah, that's what they did. That's why you have the Jewish God. That's why you have the Jewish God. And times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand. And think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand. talking about the calendar and and because they mentioned the calendars changed from a number of different type of ways and you know because the the, the edomites or the so-called white man they they have a they 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 did a diligent search to try to figure out how to how to make us go ahead how to how to make us go off because that's they believe in they in their mind that as long as we keep these jakes going off the lord will never come back but what they didn't account for is that the Lord created a certain number of men that wasn't going to bend the knee to this shit that Esau is talking about. Hey, and that's who he coming back for. Hey, that's, that's why I said Isaiah, a remnant of time. And that's, that's the spirit. Like I said, hey, now you're time, you're time for the Lord, the Lord will be. Now you're time, you're time that the Lord is actually took over, which goes to that the time of the Lord will be in the time that will be all the way through the first time you know. Hey, and you know all that. All right, you're going to uh, what did Elijah say? Or oh, this boy, Elijah, he was out there by himself. 
right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Con. And see, that's the thing with Esau. He only look at things in a carnal way. And, but but they don't account for the spirit. And this brother is a good example of that. See, Esau changed the calendar around and fucked the calendar up in the mind state of, well, I'm going to have it to where these Jakes can't observe the feast days on the proper days so that they going off now. But what ended up happening? This brother really got a sincere spirit on him. And so he showed up here and now he getting the proper breakdown. And and it was made clear that he wasn't in a, a bad spirit because he, he was ignorant. He didn't know. I was just, but I was just going to say that. Look at that other nigga who came up. That's right. He's twice his due age. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 33 and 19. It says, And the word of Yahweh came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus said Yahweh, If you can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, see, Esau can't break it. Esau can't break it. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 17. And while as they sin not before their power, they prospered because the power that hated iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into, the, into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemies. So this is the spirit that Esau is in. He changes these calendars up and does a whole number of other things to make it to where it's like we forced to not keep the laws properly. We forced to not keep the days on the right days out of ignorance. And they think that that's just going to keep the Lord, hold the Lord back from coming back for us. But this is Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false Hamashiach and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, these Edomites can change the calendar and have Jake celebrating the days on the wrong day. They can send all of the two thirds off with all this wicked ass witchcraft, these Sukiyana sexy red ass bitches. You know, all these implant niggas, these football niggas, they can send, they can only send two thirds off with that. The elect can't be deceived. The Lord preserve a certain number of men that's not going to be deceived. And we were saying earlier when you was on the phone that somebody else came up earlier before you, but they didn't have a spirit of sincerity. They was coming over here trying to talk shit. And the Lord put a spirit on this brother, the elder brother right here, to banish that nigga away from us, and he banished him. 
But when you came over here, your spirit was completely different. All right. And like the brother said, you observing the days, which is the right spirit. And you was doing it on the wrong day out of ignorance. But it's because you didn't know you're not. You, you know what I'm saying? So the new moon. All right. This is the seventh month. When we look in the sky tonight, it's going to be completely dark. Right? The Feast of Trumpets is the first day of the seventh month. Go ahead. This is uh, Ruth chapter 2, verse 29. If you will not hear my voice, surely this is. A very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's key because we're supposed to be following, you know, the scripture to the team, man. All right? You know, and the Lord, and he, he's the one that puts the spirit, all right, for us to do these things. This was prophesied that it would happen. Okay, look, we, the Lord literally is, is making a separation right now, man. All right? Because yeah, you, you got certain guys that are still following this bullshit ass Gregorian calendar, Julius calendar. Look, man, we're supposed to be following a new moon, a new day, man. All right? That's scripture. All right, it says here, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of the captivity, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, their power, for I give them a heart and ears to hear. All right, so ultimately it's Yahweh Bashim al that gives us, you know, uh, uh, that mind to understand these things, okay? And the ears to actually, you know, to, to hear what's being said. All right. No, but this brother did have a good experience. Two things. Then you know for sure you cannot go on the seventh. 
Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Alright, well, y'all wanna close it out? Oh, yeah, alright, uh, with that, you know, hopefully this is another edifying one, and with that, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to the Howl of Masha, the Howl of Masha, the Howl of Masha, the Howl of Masha. Most of the honor to the apostles, the Howl of the Great Millstone. Tell you, take all you brothers out there, Shalom and Baba Ball. Baba Ball. X, right there. Yeah, X.